Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about two independent samples t-test. So I'll share my computer screen with you. A researchers, a researcher wishes. So I will correct my spelling mistake. Researcher wishes to test the claim that an average more juvenile juveniles than adults juveniles than adults are classified as missing persons records for the last five years are shown at alpha equal to 0 0.05 is there enough evidence to support the claim so we have one column of data for juveniles another column for adults so First, uh, we will write the null hypothesis, H sub zero. Uh, let's uh, first write one is equal to juveniles, comma, two equal to adults, okay? So null hypothesis is mu one equal to mu two. Mu one equal to mu two. Mu is the population mean. And your alternate hypothesis is mu one greater than mu two. Okay. So one is for juveniles, two is for adults. Uh, we will use uh Two sample independent t test because we do not know the population standard deviation. So, before we conduct the test, uh, let's uh, conduct the test. So, we will use, uh, so we are on the data screen in the calculator in the Excel, and we have the data analysis tool already incorporated in the Excel. And there's a video I have already uploaded in my channel which shows you how to activate the data analysis tool pack, uh, which is already there in Excel. You just have to uh, activate it and incorporate it in the Excel under data. And then you can click on the data analysis tool. And then it is a t-test for two sample, assuming, uh, so we will do two sample, t-test two sample, assuming unequal variances. That is the most common way to do it. We do not assume equal variances in the population of juveniles and adults. We assume unequal variances of data in the juveniles and adults, okay? So we are going to do that test. We highlight it and then click, double click on it. Then it asks for variable one range, which is our juvenile data. It runs from cell A4 through A9 which I hi highlight. Then variable two range, which is my adults, which run from A4 to A9. Sorry, B4 through B9, which I highlight. And hypothesize mean difference is equal to zero because my null hypothesis is mu1 equal to mu2 or mu1 minus mu2 equal to zero. So that is zero. I have labels in my first row of data, juveniles and adults, so I click on this. My alpha level of significance is 0 0.05, okay? And uh, we can put the output in this uh, itself. This, uh, so we can do it from say um, D5. Yeah, D5, okay? Output range is from D5. Two, we can do, I don't know, equal to K20 or something, okay? And hit enter, so D5, five, then colon KL20, let's put it. Okay, and here is, here are the results, so I will highlight the results. Okay. So the mean is given in this column. The variances are given. We have assumed unequal variances. Degrees of freedom is five, 
in five data points in juvenile, five data points in adults, five plus five is 10, minus two is eight. The test statistic is 16.25. The p-value, okay, the p-value, okay, is uh, 1.0. 0, 0.3, uh, so 1.03, okay, e to the power of minus 7, okay. So we can write, since p is equal to, is exponent minus 7, so there are six zeros after the decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then uh, one point. 03 uh, 103 actually okay mm, and alpha is equal to 0 .0, 0 0.005 so p is less than alpha less than alpha alpha decision to reject h0 The okay, conclusion at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is enough evidence to support the alternate, enough evidence to support the, to support HA, which states mu1 is greater than greater than mu2. That is, on the average, more juveniles are missing than adults. Okay? And we came to this conclusion because the p-value for a right tail test was only one exponent minus 7, which is much less than alpha value of 0 0.05. P is less than alpha, that we reject H0 and support the alternate hypothesis. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And if you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please check out my channel. I have solutions to all kinds of math problems so that you can excel in your math studies. I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. I'm coming back next time. So check me out. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you.